Step one for creating a reservation for the computer carts or digital resources. Step one is to access webmail. The address for webmail is webmail.nkasd.com and this re redirects you to radon.nkasd.com and this is the Zimbra web client. The second step in reserving computer carts or digital resource starts by clicking on the calendar tab in Zimbra. Once we are within the calendar, we are going to create a new appointment. This is done two ways. The first way is going to the new icon and clicking the drop down arrow and selecting appointment. Ultimately, this is the screen which we will create our resource. The second way of creating an appointment is double clicking on the date which you would like the appointment to start. The quick add appointment window will appear. At this point, click more details in the bottom left corner. And once again, this is the screen which the reservation will take place. In the subject field, please use the name of the cart. So, for the example, I will use VMS cart 8. The attendees is optional, and the location field is the room which the computers will reside during the reservation. I'm going to start this reservation on the 13th of September and end it on the 13th of September, but I would like it for the whole day. Step three in creating your computer cart or digital resource reservation begins by pressing or clicking the show resources option. Once you click on the show resource option, a new field will appear called resources. Click on the Resources tab. Resources can be searched by name, which is the name of the cart, by building, which is the name of the building, or simply pressing Search. Once the list of resources appear, navigate to the resource that you would like to make the reservation for. I am selecting VMS Cart 8. I highlight it by clicking on it and I click the add button. Once I have added the resource it will give me a status it will tell me whether it's free or busy and I click OK. You will notice now that in the resource field it is added VMS cart 8. I have the start date and the end date and I want them all day long for that for those dates and in the subject is the name of the cart. At this point I can send my reservation. The reservation will appear on the calendar as VMS cart 8. This is actually the subject field that I have typed in, so please be sure to uh, use the name of the cart that you are reserving. And if you noticed, my mail tab um, has highlighted I received a mail, and this is a confirmation message saying that VMS Cart 8 has been scheduled for the appointment that I created. The last step in reserving the computer carts or digital resources is to double check that the reservation has gone through. We have received a confirmation email, so that's a good sign that our reservation has gone through, but to double check we are going to go to the district's website. The address for the website is www.nkasd.com. Under the Departments tab is a link to the Technology page. On the right-hand side are two calendars, VMS and VHS 
Tech Equipment Consolidation Calendars. I made the reservation for VMS cart, so I'm going to go to that calendar. As we can see, my reservation for the 13th of September for cart 8 appears on the calendar. So I know that this reservation has gone through. This here is a great place to start your reservation process. This will give an idea of the available resources. There are a few miscellaneous items when making reservations to make note of. The first one is if at any time you would like to cancel your reservation, you right click or control click on the event, which in this case is VMS Cart 8, and you select delete. This will prompt you uh, if you are sure you want to delete this appointment and you select yes or no as appropriate. The second item is that it is possible to reserve a cart for less than a day. You do this by adding specific times. It is possible to sign out the cart for a couple periods at a time. So in the time field you would add the specific time that a period would start and the specific end time that a period would end. And you save and send your reservations as previously described. There is also an option of creating a reservation that lasts longer than a day. You do this by entering your start date and then your end date would be the ending date of your reservation. Please do not use the repeat option. Um, this is not friendly to the consolidation calendars in step four. Um, other than that, the information that you provide in your reservation is optional. The subject, location, start, end date, and the resource field are mandatory and everything else is optional. If you have any questions or issues reserving this card, please visit the help desk at helpdesk.nkasd.com and search for the reservation um, subject on the help desk.